Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Alright, first and foremost, we have to start off with this. Congratulations to the LSU track team, NCAA champions, the LSU men's track team. It's been a long time coming for them, I think 19 years. Since 2002, they haven't won a, you know, a national title, so have to start off with congratulating them. They absolutely destroyed the field. Actually had a bad meet, but still went on to uh, destroy that field, you know, at NC's in Oregon. Oregon finished second, so to beat Oregon at their home track, that's a big deal. In, in their new stadium, first year having it, that's a real big deal for LSU track. I know a lot of y'all don't follow track, but he was still, you know, LSU track is one of the staples of LSU sports, and it's always been a staple for, you know, as long as I can remember. So congratulations to them. Uh, Olympic trials is coming up. A lot of those LSU collegiate guys and girls will be running at Olympic trials starting Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, also, former you know college athletes from LSU will be competing in Olympic trials. LSU is bringing at least you know ten to fifteen people just to the U.S. Olympic trials, and obviously we have guys and girls from other countries that will be competing as well. So, man, like I said, congratulations to them. Don't want to spend too much time on it. YouTube made me take my track videos down. That's unfortunate, but I get it, man. It's a it's a business, I guess, but. Yeah, congratulations, Dennis Shaver, uh, some of the athletes, Terrence Lair, Javon Harrison, Noah Williams, Tyler Terry, uh, Sean Burrell, Squirrel, all of that, you know. Congratulations to those guys. We're also not going to let it pass to uh, talk about LSU baseball. Made it out of Eugene, Super Regional. Went to, no I mean, Regional. Went to Knoxville for the Super Regional. Didn't go as planned. Um, I think they were in the first game. I think a coaching mishap happened where... They might have put the wrong pitchers in. We never went to our closer, not once in the series. Had a 2-1 lead in game one and went to some other pitchers and uh, ended up losing the lead. Went to some younger guys. We have a fifth-year senior, Devin Fontenot, who's the closer, who's been the closer. He's been a damn good closer. And we decided not to go with him. That was a mistake. So ended up losing that game one. Game two, Tennessee Bats came alive uh, without Ace on the mound. Nothing you can do there. They just were better than us. Um, so they're going to be looking for new coaches. Don't have any names in front of me right now. I'll probably do a list a little later on on who I think should be the next head coach of the LSU baseball team. Um, I'm not too, too familiar with, like, you know, baseball, college, college baseball coaches on the scene, but I'll definitely do my research, kind of see, you know, who I think should be the next guy in charge with uh, take over Paul Maneri's job. But don't want to kill Paul Maneri for, you know, losing that Super Regional. I think he, he, actually leave, he actually left us with a great recruiting class. It's probably one of the best freshman classes in NCAA history. So, you know, you got to thank him for that. So whoever comes in is going to have a great group of guys, you know, uh, to start off. It won't be starting from scratch, you know, at some places. So I want to thank Paul Benary for 15 years plus, however long he's been here. I mean, got us a, a national title. You can't, can't really complain with that. Into the main event, um, why I really came here, why I really wanted to do this, I was actually going to skip the podcast this week because I've just been so busy fighting with YouTube about stuff, and I've just been busy in life. But... The NBA has gone wild. Shit's just got crazy. Let's just be honest. From injuries to coaches being fired to news coming out about Luka, Zion, this and that. And we're just going to start with Stan Van Gundy. Obviously, he got fired. Oh, well, he didn't get fired because, you know, when you don't want to get fired, they just say, we mutually parted ways. So Stan Van Gundy mutually parted ways with the Pelicans. Um, did not expect that. Thought he was going to get another year, you know, a full training um, camp under his belt, things like that, preseason. Didn't get that opportunity. Don't know really. Don't really know why. Well, let me not say that because I honestly do know why, and we'll get to that a little later. So, uh, yeah, Stan Van Gundy's out. Defensive guy. We really didn't play defense, so I'm not going to say that I'm too shocked that um, he's out of there. And um, I'm not going to say I agree or disagree with it. I'm kind of neutral on that. He could have came back or left, and it wouldn't have changed my opinion on, you know, what I think of the Pelicans. I don't think he's, like, the greatest coach. I don't think he's the worst coach in the league. I just think he's average. No, no offense to Stan Van Gundy. He's just, he's just, you know, average or above average, below average in some areas. So like, average overall. Um, new prospects. We'll go with that. Mm. It's been a lot of, you know, uh, thoughts about hiring somebody in house. Um, I think Weatherspoon and uh, Fred Vinson, I believe his name is, were two of the names mentioned right off the back as soon as you know, Stan Van Gundy left. Um, I'm against hiring in house, only because they've been there. So. Obviously, they didn't have full control, you know, but uh, Fred's been there for 10 years. 
think a uh, Witherspoon or Witherspoon. I'm not, I'm not sure what's her name. She's been there for only one year, but I mean she has a long coaching career, Olympic medalist, uh, women's basketball. So I mean they're both they're both highly qualified. I'm just against hiring in house because I think it's way too many guys, you know, um, that's that's qualified, and I think this are better better fits, and it's a new change of scenery. I won't even say better fits. It's just a change of scenery. You get some fresh blood in there, you know, and things like that. So uh, I'll definitely make a list, probably a top five, top seven list of, you know, coaching candidates that I would like on the Pelicans. But the also the, the co-main event here, Zion Rumors. Um, as you know, as you probably may have heard, the Zion Rumors are coming from everywhere. People in this camp saying he don't want to play in New Orleans. They don't. They haven't put a you know a great team around him. This and that. This is only year three. Like people are saying, he may not even you know sign the extension. He may just leave after the fourth year, play under the qualifying offer for the fifth year, become an unrestricted free agent. If you don't know how contracts work, usually rookies get a, a two plus two, so they get two years, get two more. Then after that, they become a restricted free agent, and whatever a team offers them, the Pelicans can match, which they will match. Well, the Pelicans will offer the max as well. So. However, the way you can get out of that is playing under a qualifying offer, which is a one-year, a uh, way smaller amount. could be five, ten million. I'm not sure what the qualifying offer is, but it's a one-year, very small contract. And if you play under that, you become an unrestricted free agent. That would be the first guy I can think of, you know, after his rookie deal that, that has done that. I know you just saw Brandon Ingram just resigned for basically the max. Tatum, Ben Simmons, the list goes on and on. Luca's up next. It's some rumbling, rumblings about him as well. So we'll see what he does, but this would be like a crazy precedent of a rookie turning down, you know, that first extension with his club, a good rookie like this. So we'll see what that leads. Um, to the rumors, I don't know, man. I kind of think some of them are coming from his stepdad. I don't know. I don't think Zion's, you know, really. I'm not gonna say he doesn't care, but I think he's just focused on basketball. And when he gets to that point, he'll get to that point. But like they, like they always say, when there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's coming from his stepdad or somebody close in his camp, I'm sure Dave's talking to Zion about it or at least put it in his head. They're not just going to come out the blue, you know, without his his knowledge, you know, uh, saying these things. So we'll see where that leads, man. I think it's way too early to start doing all that. It's in his third year in, his, in the NBA. He's only played a half of a season, like once. So, I mean, he hasn't he hasn't got enough, you know, meat on the bone to start, start this nonsense. I'm not going to say it's coming from him, but it's just way too early for that. Um, but to his side, if I'm looking on his side, this this will be his third coach in the NBA in three years. That's not that's not good, in New Orleans. That's that's actually terrible. Um, the team around him, I agree, hasn't been the greatest. We're starting a center that can't shoot with a power forward that can't shoot. That's just not the smartest thing to do in the world. They also had a shooting guard out there that couldn't shoot. So I mean, the issues are valid. The issues are very valid, and I'm not not gonna say he's wrong or his camp is wrong in that you know, on that center on that page, but still too early for me to start all that nonsense. Obviously, you want Zion on the Pelicans. That's just simple as that. So, yeah, that, that'll, that'll cover up the Pelicans, man. I'm just, it's a lot going on right now. Uh, well, off the top of my head, I'll, I'll do say this. If the two, the two guys on top of my head that I want will be Rick Carlisle, Chauncey Billups. Obviously, Rick Carlisle, proven NBA coach, NBA champion, all of the, all the accolades you, you, know, you know you want. He has... Real good coach. One, I think he's a top five coach in the NBA. So him stepping down from the Mavs makes me think it's more, you know, going on over there as well. But I don't cover the Mavs, so I'll just stay out of it. My name is Bennett, and I'm not in it. However, if he comes to the Pelicans, that'll be great. My second guy right now is uh, Chauncey Billups. I think it's time for him to, you know, become a head coach. Obviously, a Hall of Fame point guard, NBA champion, champion finals MVP, I believe, with the Pistons in 04. All of that. So, I mean... His uh, resume speaks for itself. I think he'll be a great NBA coach. It'll be his first time, so that's kind of sketchy for me. But I low-key think he's running the Clippers right now. So, But it'll be a first full-time gig as a head coach. I understand how that can get. Maybe you want a more experienced guy. But I'm tired of hiring experienced guys that don't do crap. Just because you have experience doesn't mean anything to me if you can't get the job done. So... We'll see where that leads. I mean, it's a couple other people out of there. Like I would like to say, Weatherspoon, Vincent, Becky Hammond's name is in the news a lot. I'm not opposed to that. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, female, man. That doesn't matter to me. Who's the best person for the job? Gender, I can give two shits about your gender. Can you coach? Cool. All right. That's all I need to know. 
Can you get the most out of Zion? Can you get the most out of Lonzo, B.I.? That's all I care about. That other nonsense, do not care. Don't care about your name. Don't care about your gender. Don't care about your coaching style per se. Like, if, if your system is going to work with the players we have, cool. And it's simple as that. Don't care if you're mean. Don't care if you're nice. Just can you damn coach these players because I'm, I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of looking at the damn tragedy that the Pelicans put on the, on the court. And I know I said I was going to wrap that up like a minute ago, but sometimes I, the, the Pelicans just, just piss me off. And stay away from Jason Kidd. Don't want him. No offense. Next up, we got the Sinks. No real Sinks news. Uh, it's almost time to get it cracking, though. It's June's kind of passing. It's almost July. So we're about to start getting on the field, man. All these other teams on the field, we can't get on the field, but it's all good. Um, the only real news coming out of the Sinks is, you know, we hit the transaction wire. Drew Brees retired slash reserve list. I knew this day was coming. Obviously, we knew this day, you know, happened a while ago, about a month ago or whatever, but it became official, you know. It's a little different when it come, becomes official, man. I just want to thank Breeze once again for, what, since 06, what, 16 years, I believe, if my math is correct, 15, 15 years? This franchise would not be where it is without him. We would not be in the news about anything without him and Sean Payton and those guys that, you know, kind of started that wave. Um... Like I said, man, congratulations to him. Hopefully he does great for CBS. I think that's who he's working for, NBC, one of those. Uh, and yeah, man, it just hit the it hit the uh, the list, and that kind of hurt when it hit the transaction wire. But you knew it was coming, obviously, man. But yeah, that's 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 just on a, on a thanks, uh, you know, tip. Nothing really going on right now. Just meetings and interviews and blah blah blah. Nothing major. But that'll wrap up this, man. I just had to had to come out here and talk about, you know, the LSU winning the NCs and uh, the Pelicans. That was definitely two topics I definitely wanted to cover. Hey, man, thank you all for tuning in. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Can you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff? See, I have to turn on my radio voice, my pod voice for that. <laughs> still don't feel comfortable telling people to like, comment, subscribe. It's still weird to me. If you want to, do it. If you don't, man, it's, it's, it's whatever, to be honest. <laughs> I'm doing this for the people that want to, you know, hear. If you want to comment, great. You don't, that's also great. You don't have to comment. It's just not, you know, not a requirement. I mean, thank you all for tuning in. Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.